Hi, it's me, the Aquarius for fun. For today's video, we'll be taking a deep dive into aquarium sterilizers. Okay, so this is a very hot topic that needs to be touched. <laughs> yeah, boy. Are these products a buy or a bust? Does it really work or is it just snake oil? Okay, so just so I don't ramble on, I'll be giving four details or four most commonly asked questions about this product. I have the Chihiro's Doctor right here, but I guess we can talk about the Twin Star Nano as well. I'm pretty sure that some of you or most of you have already Google Did I stutter? Yes, but actually no. Google this product and how it works. So basically, it uses electrolysis. So this may get a little sciencey. Yes, science! So basically, water electrolysis is the use of electricity to break down the water molecule, which is H2O, meaning there's two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen. Chihiros or Twinstar didn't really explain what will happen after the electrolysis because water electrolysis can produce a bunch of stuff, not just separating the hydrogen and oxygen molecule. It's not that simple. It depends on a lot of factors. In some cases, you can really produce hydrogen peroxide by using water electrolysis. Remember, H2O, that's water. H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. So basically, they still have the same molecule, just in different configuration. And as you may well know, hydrogen peroxide, we can use that chemical to stop or kill algae. But just to make things clear, both Chihiros and Twinstar didn't make any claims with regards to hydrogen peroxide production. In some sources, you can read or hear that these products can produce hydroxyl radicals. Hydroxyl radicals is composed of a single molecule of oxygen and a single molecule of hydrogen, which is both present and water. That idea isn't too far-fetched, but as far as I know, as I personally know, hydroxyl radicals can reproduce under certain or specific conditions. What are those specific requirements? Well, typically they will use a titanium coating on both anode and cathode. The anode and cathode on this product are the two discs that are slightly separated by a small gap, which is a good thing. So that's one check. Since we all studied chemistry at one point, there has to be some specific factors when it comes to temperature. Also, the gap between the two discs is I have gaps in my teeth. It's very important in production of hydroxyl radicals. I'm guessing they've already took that into consideration when making these products. Another factor in production of hydroxyl radicals is the voltage and the electrical conductivity, which is also why they are asking for you to enter or know at least the TDS on your aquarium. So pretty much everything is covered and let's just assume that these products really do produce hydroxyl radicals. So, question number two, the most important question of all, does it kill algae? That's suspicious. Take note, I use the word kill. This is where a lot of contention exists. Hoo <laughs> contention, fancy word. Fancy! I have linked a bunch of scientific studies on the description box below. Just to show you I'm not a bullshit all talker YouTuber who knows nothing and then talks about something. So basically, one of the studies there showed that the only electrical process that is 100% effective on killing algae is shockwave. As far as I know, these sterilizers doesn't use shockwave. No, no, the fuck it's not. No, no, it's not. <laughs> So that does include the production of hydroxyl radicals and the use of strong electric fields. Hydroxyl radicals and electrocution basically 
are the processes that are claimed by this product and that study specifically said that hydroxyl radicals and a strong electricity field doesn't work on killing algae. Their patents and explanations about killing algae is basically non-existent. Oh, okay. We'll talk about the patents later on. Another factor why I don't think these products will kill algae is that, well, pretty much one of the well-versed guy in the scientific studies of our hobby, Mr. Tom Barr himself, he said that these products, they basically do nothing for algae. So that includes green spots, green dust algae, black beard algae, hair algae, red moss, I haven't really heard of it, but those are his words, not mine. These products doesn't work on algae regardless of their claims. So does it kill algae? No. Is it beneficial to have one on a planted tank for both your plants and livestock? I definitely say yes. I'd say yes, but it's not required and will never be a replacement for proper horticultural will never be a replacement for proper horticultural care and proper aquarium husbandry. Oh, and by the way, aquarium husbandry means proper care for your aquarium. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> So the big question is why? Why did I say that yes, this product will be helpful for plants and livestock? Well, on this specific topic, their patents became slightly more detailed. According to them, these products can produce positive ions. Positive ions like calcium ion, potassium ion, magnesium, iron, zinc, and or sodium. And those positive ions will thereby contribute to the plant growth. Now, in terms of livestock, their patents explained or showed their own studies on killing specific disease-causing bacteria, so, which is a good thing. Now, that study lasted for 30 days. My final take on this is with healthy plants and healthy livestock, you are in a way indirectly affecting or preventing algae growth but not killing it okay so let's have a short discussion regarding their patents the patents that i saw is specifically from twinstar which i guess is pretty much the same as chihirosus i've linked their patents in the description box below what that patent showed is basically a side-by-side -side picture of an aquarium with and without aquarium sterilizers which they funnily named as the Killing apparatus. Kuro has to. They didn't provide any specifics on the technical details about those tanks. So also, I've noticed that in their patents, in terms of algae, the words they've used, the words they've used is just along the lines of preventing and controlling. Never did they directly say that this product will kill algae, nor does this product claim to kill algae spores. Can I live? Can I fucking live? Why y'all wanna fuck with me? Why? Why y'all so mad at me? What have I done to anybody? Okay, let's have a summary. Do you need one of these? The Chihiros Doctor or the Twin Star Nano? No. Does it kill algae? No. Does it help your plants? Yes. Does it kill disease-causing bacteria? Yes. Will it prevent algae? It will. But, there's a big but. But these products won't do shit if you don't know how to properly take care of your aquarium. If you want to learn how to take care of your aquarium, what I suggest you to do is subscribe, leave this video with a thumbs up, because in this channel, I talk about aquascape, fish keeping, and some more general tips and guides on how to be a better aquarist. So, bye!